In this video I'll show you how to set a custom cursor in Grow and also change it based on what's being hovered over. Source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful please subscribe so let's slide in. The assets I will be using today are from Kenny, it's the cursor pack and the pixel platformer pack linked in the description. So start by going to project, project settings and search for cursor and under display you find mouse cursor and in here you can set a custom image i'm gonna select the custom image and i'm gonna select my pointer hit open and now we can close this and now if we run our scene the new cursor will be applied and that's how we set a custom cursor next i'll show you how to set a custom cursor depending on what's being hovered over if i'm hovering over the enemy i want to display a different cursor and for that we will need a script so select the root node and attach a new script and create and inside of the script we want to connect a signal from the from the textures so i'm going to select the enemy and i'm going to select the signal mouse entered and i'm going to connect the mouse exited as well and i'm going to do the same for the plant mouse entered and mouse exit i'm going to remove these other functions now i'm going to add a variable for the tools so i'm gonna add the tool water and i'm gonna preload this so this is equal to a preload i want it to be the water and then we can duplicate this it's the tool axe and here we have the tool axe perfect and i prefer using preload overload now inside of the mouse entered functions this is on the enemy here we want to set the input dot uh, set custom mouse cursor and we want to set it to the tool and we want it to be the axe on the enemy and then we do comma and then we do input dot cursor arrow is what we want to change and then to set the hotspot and this basically means that it's at the right location where the mouse is supposed to be and here we want to set it to a vector 2 and 16 by 16 this makes it centered where it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to duplicate this for the mouse exited. But instead of the tool X, I want to get my regular cursor. I'm just going to uh, duplicate my old variable and make a default one. This can be pointer. And here we set default. And I'm going to duplicate for the rest. So entered. And here we have tool water. And then default. And now if we run our scene, it should now change when we hover over the different things. And it should change back when we exit them. So I'm going to run the scene now. And inside of the scene, I have my default cursor. And if I hover over the plant, it changes to the watering tool. And if I exit, it changes back. And if I hover over the enemy, it changes to the axe. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos, Check out our Ko-Fi in the description and we'll see you in the next one.